Hello, and welcome to Vancouver, Canada. Yes, those are words that I never expected to be coming out of my mouth this year. Here's a bit of backstory. If any of you guys followed my journey on Gumball 3000 this year, London to Japan, I met a wonderful gentleman called Jordan, uh, who ended up being driving buddies in the green 812 Superfast. That one, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Jordan lives out here in Vancouver on the rally. He invited me out to come and check out his wonderful collection of cars. And today while I'm in Vancouver, he is giving me the keys to his Speciali Aperta, of which I will be borrowing for the next few days to use on the drive up to Whistler. This is one of the cars that I have been dying to drive. Never did I think it would be in this environment. How could I turn that down? Today, I'm gonna to share with you what it's like to drive the Speciali Aperta, one of my all time favorite cars, but the box is ticked with extra favor because you can take the roof off. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's check out the car. Obviously, the fundamental platform of this is the Speciali, but it follows the same ethos, lightweight, stripped out, no sound deadening, and even less so when the roof is open to really get yourself involved in that wonderful flat plane V8. Now, they only made 499 of these cars worldwide. It came with these wheels. These were launched at the time exclusively on the Aperta. And conveniently, I just so happen to have the keys <laughs> right here let's have a look on the inside now color as i'm sure you can tell is rosso corsa with this awesome i mean the stripe that goes over it it's got this fantastic contrast that's actually a, a metallic flecked silver contrast pinstripe alongside the black stripe at the rear let's have a look inside familiar carbon everywhere but it's not until you get inside on this one that you can pick up on some of the more custom details. Now on my car, all of this is black with some contrast stitching on it. Uh, this is a primary Rosso contrast stitch on mine. It's a Bordeaux to match with the darker red exterior. But on this, I'm really enjoying this contrast red insert here. It's all Alcantara. I particularly love when you can spec Alcantara on the dashboard of a car. The reason being Alcantara absorbs light fantastically well so you don't get any reflection in the windscreen. And of course here we have the Speciali A for Aperta on the dash and it's just reminding us on the central console that it is a limited edition car. Now Ferrari famously do not say what number the car is. They'll only say that it is one of 499. In my TDF it says exactly the same thing, one of 799. But it is reminding you that this engine won best performance engine of the year, 2011, 12, and 14. I'm actually not a big fan of that badge. That's really weird. But still, it is reminding you that you're in something special. And then they've also gone and reprogrammed the dash display there to let you know that you're in something spicy. But of course, the biggest difference inside, and the one that I'm most excited about, is the addition of this button here. That is the one to take the roof down, and this one, you know what, this one almost appeals to me more. This allows you to just drop the rear window. So if you press on the left side, it will drop this window here. So if it is raining, you can still drop the rear and enjoy that wonderful sound. And then of course this button here is to drop the roof, and that's when things get really interesting. behind your ears this is special this is such a last minute thing if this was one of those invites where at the time it was like yeah we'll probably do that in the distant future sometime it'd be nice to come over and say hi gumball finished what three weeks ago and now i'm here catching up with jordan who i met on the rally that's the great thing about gumball this is the great thing about gumball right now i am driving 
a gentleman's 458 Speciali Aperta that I have known for all of three weeks. <laughs> what a wonderful community of crazy petrol heads that event is. And the best thing is, I can bring you guys along for the ride as well. But I want to tell you about what's happening over the next few days because... <laughs> I mean, that's never going to get old, is it? Because we're ultimately, this trip is about driving to Whistler. Now, friends who have been skiing there have told me it's phenomenal. Friends that have driven around there have told me I have to go. And Jordan said, hey, why don't you come over, jump in the Aperta and drive to Whistler? <laughs> it's ticking every box at once. So tomorrow I'm taking this and Jordan's taking the 812 super fast and we're driving up to Whistler on what I've been told by the locals is the greatest driving road in the entire area, which may sound grand and dramatic, but the entire area is bigger than the whole of the UK. So that's up there. That's up there with saying that the road that we're hitting is supposed to be out of this world special, which I cannot wait to do. But it's an exciting time. Anyway, Jordan will be joining me shortly, at which point we're gonna rendezvous and then head out into Vancouver. Whale bacon. Whale bacon. Whale bacon. You had a whale bacon? I had whale bacon. I mean, what's whale bacon, bacon taste like? It tastes like if you took, well, because it's a mammal, right? Yeah. It's actually very interesting because I've had it a few times. It's, it's exactly the consistency of a steak, right? but it's got the saltiness and this flavor of, of, of fish. Wow, that's like weird, it messes man. with your head a little bit because yeah. it's got the, it's got the fish taste and the and the, but the the same kind of texture as you'd get from beef. Okay, tell the story of when you walked into the lounge. Okay. This is the best. So I, so I was, um, it was after the, the Central Japan racetrack when we left Kyoto. And we went over because I hadn't played pachinko before. And I wanted to play pachinko. So, so Pauline said time. that she asked to get a beer. And they said they don't have beer, but they've got drinks across the street. So I think no problem. So I'm like, I'm, so then Colleen's playing the pachinko or the slot machine and she's winning a bunch of money. So she's doing a good thing. So, I'm, so I walk across the street and I'm like, huh, this place looks a bit funny. But okay, so I go in and I, I'm like, it doesn't look like a store, but it's got a sign on the outside, it's Coca Cola on it. So I pull on the door and it opens. So I walk in there and I open the next door and I'm in a room and it's got like a kitchen and it's got like a table and it's got like a thing and there's some people sitting in there and I walk in and they look, and they, the woman stands up and then looks at me and she's crazy, she's Japanese. And I'm like, then I've got my Google Translate, so I'm ready to go. So I'm like, I would like to buy a beer. Yeah. And, then, and then I show it to her all proud. And she's like, no, no beer here. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then the guy is smoking a cigarette, but he had one of those cigarettes that's like a little thing and it's got it sticking at the top. Okay. So so he's, he comes over and he walks over and he's just looking at me funny. And so I say, okay, so no beer. And she says, no beer. And I'm like, okay, uh, do you have any Coke? And then she goes and talks to the guy and he's like, and, they, and he wasn't very happy, but she's like, Ugh. So then she goes and looks in the fridge, and there's two Cokes in the fridge. And it was all organized. And then, and then I say, I would like to, I would like to buy those two Cokes. And then she says, and this is where things got weird. She says, Do you have a horse? <laughs> I don't know why she said that, but she said. That. And to which I said, Kind of. I'm driving a Ferrari. So, so this kind of, so it's all the Japanese. And then she looks confused. And then, and oh, yeah, this is what she said, Do you have a horse? She said that in English. She didn't use the translator for that. That's important for later. <laughs> so she goes in and she brings me back one of the one of one of the two. I'm like, no, 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 I want two. I want two. Go to Zabolico. And she's like, no, 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 one. And I'm like, okay, sorry. And she gives it to me. And she's like, and then I give her the money. And I gave her like a thousand yen. And she gave me like five hundred yen back, which is a pretty expensive bottle of coke, actually. And the uh, and then uh, and then I left. And it was only when I left that I realized. This wasn't a store. She wasn't saying, do you have a horse? She was saying, this is my house. <laughs> and, and, then, and then when you look past, past, if you look past the house, there was a store. <laughs> I my, love that she gave you change. It was like a like genuine transaction I, I, in her house. When she went into her purse to get the change, I knew something was wrong. Like there was, I was, I was like, why is there no cash register in here? <laughs> no, I just walked right in. It's a store, I thought. 
All right, as chance would have it, we have another Gumball veteran here, Dylan, who's uh, decided to join us on tomorrow's drive. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Jordan's going to give us a quick overview of the yeah. plan for tomorrow. So we leave 9 a.m. Yep. Uh, your hotel. Okay. Uh, so like 8 o'clock, I got to get up, 8.15. All right. Then we'll drive over to West Van, pick yeah. you up. All right. Uh, up, we'll rock up to Whistler. We'll have lunch nice. in Whistler, if they have Chateau Whistler in Fairmont. I like that. And then this, have some lunch there, check in, maybe rest a little bit. And then we'll go up to Lillooet Pass, up Active Pass, past Pemberton, British Columbia. Okay. Some of the most amazing drives you've ever seen. Like mountains as big as you've ever seen with the drops that will kill you three times over. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to have dinner. Fantastic. We're going to have dinner. Your, your, your yeah. wife's uh, quite organizing that. Yeah, yeah. So that's the plan wow. for tomorrow. This is awesome, man. Yeah. And we've got some special cars coming, which I shall share with you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Yeah, Ciao. Is.